What is going on all you tech addicted YouTubers? You're watching Jay's Two Cents and what I have here is the Galaxy S3 Energy Power Case by Tilt. Jay's Two Cents was fortunate enough to get to attend the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas this last January. And when I was there, I discovered this company called Tilt. This is one of my favorite companies from the show. They have this really young, hip vibe. They're a new company. A lot of what they do is funded through Kickstarter, and they were kind enough to send me some products for review. And what we're doing today is we're reviewing the energy case for the Galaxy S3. This battery case here has an 1800 milliamp battery in it. It has a kickstand that pops out here, and it's got some really neat features here that I wanna go over. Uh, on the back of the package right here, uh, you can see you've got four LEDs here that show you how much battery charge is on the battery. It's got an 1800 milliamp, it's a very thin design, uh, and it does have a micro USB uh, plug on the bottom here, which is the same as the proprietary plug on the Galaxy S3. I shouldn't say proprietary because it's actually pretty common. Uh, it does come with a limited one year warranty, it has details inside the box, and you can get more information about Tilt by visiting their website www.tilt.com. So let's go ahead and open up the package here. I like the colors of the box. It's it's a very neat kind of a hot red, not quite pink, but it's not red either. It's like kind of a very uh, neon color here. And it's got this bit of a bezel. When you open up the box here, it's uh, it's got a lot of tape on it. I've already opened up this case and used it. Otherwise, how could it have a review? This is not an unboxing, but it is a full review of this case. Now, when it comes to the thickness here, uh, the case says that it adds six millimeters of depth to the thickness of the Galaxy S3. Now, the Galaxy S3 already comes in, I believe, at eight millimeters thin. So if you add six millimeters to that, you're looking at about 14 millimeters of thickness here. Right on the inside of the battery case here, you can see it's got the model number. It's got a five volt, 500 milliamp output and it's an 1800 milliamp battery, and it is branded made in China, along with just about every other piece of electronics in the world. It's got a little bit of a direction right here, just to let you know that to start charging, you have to hold this power button for two seconds. Now it's got a plastic film here covering the piano finish here on the button, but you can see on the bottom, it does have the a hole here for the microphone. It does have the uh, micro USB charger here on the bottom, as well as the micro USB charger port that plugs into the phone itself. And here is the power button for the case. We'll get more into that once we put this on the phone. On the back here, you have a kickstand that pops out. That way you can prop it up. The back is a really nice, uh, it's like an ABS plastic. It's got a piano finish here, which is very uh, shiny and polished. Cutouts here for your camera, speaker, LED, uh, as well as a cutout on the top for your microphone jack and your ambient mic right there, noise canceling mic. To install this on your phone, you've got to pop off this bezel here. It's kind of a bumper type bezel. You slide your phone right into the case, lining up the uh, port on the bottom, and then you simply snap this ring right back over the top of your phone. Installation takes only a few seconds. It's really easy. There's nothing too incredibly difficult about it. The fit is really good. It's really tight. It doesn't wobble around. It doesn't move whatsoever, even if you try. And the buttons uh, are uh, easily accessible. Even though the phone has kind of a contour to it and the case is very squared, uh, the buttons are still pretty easy to push with minimal effort. Power buttons on the side, uh, home button is unchanged, and then you've got your charger port right here on the bottom. On the top though, you are gonna have to be mindful of your headphone jack because some headphone jacks may not fit because the depth is increased. Now what makes this battery case a little bit different than some of the others on the market is you have to turn it on to start charging your phone. If you push the battery button down there on the bottom, you'll see here you get an LED indicator of what the battery charge is like. Now there are four LEDs, green LEDs that will light up. I'm getting a single flashing LED because this battery case has already been pretty much depleted. For the sake of this review, I did a full charge and a full depletion of this battery uh, in a real world situation to see exactly how much extra battery life you get. Now, as mentioned at the start of this review, the battery included inside of the Tilt Energy case is an 1800 milliamp battery. Now, the stock battery inside the Galaxy S3 is a 2100 milliamp battery, so it's a little bit smaller than the battery that comes inside the phone already. When doing my real world test, I watched videos on Netflix to my battery was down to about 50% and I switched on the battery case which was at a full 1800 milliamp charge. 
Now the recharge rate of the battery case to the Galaxy S3 was about 1% of the battery per minute. So it wasn't too long for the phone to be recharged back to 100%. Uh, I did manage to get the phone from 50% back to 100%. Unfortunately, the 1800 milliamps inside of this battery was completely depleted by the end of that. So if you use your Galaxy less than 50% of its battery life, uh, depending on what your profile is like on your phone, what you're doing, what your brightness settings are like, uh, you may not get a full charge out of this if you're less than 50%. Um, but then again, your mileage may vary because uh, battery life on cell phones is entirely dependent on what you're doing with your phone. I happen to be doing some pretty strenuous testing with it with having the brightness at 100%, the screen stuck on, and a video playing while recharging. So you may be able to get more recharging out of this battery if you weren't doing uh, stressful tasks at the same time. Now one of the things I want to mention is the bottom of the case, which is where the battery is located, did tend to get really warm. I wouldn't say it was uncomfortably warm. It may not have been very comfortable in your pocket. If you're going to be recharging your phone on the go using this case, I recommend leaving it out of your pocket so it can get uh, proper ventilation. One thing that's important to know though is that you can charge both of these batteries at the same time. If you plugged in the included micro USB plug at the bottom of the case, or use any micro USB charger for that matter, uh, it will simultaneously charge both the phone and the battery case. So there's no need to remove the phone if you decide to use the battery case full time. Now I've showed you the packaging, I've showed you what comes in the box, and I've told you about how the recharge works. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros and cons I see with this case. Uh, right off the bat, um, if you like the sleek, thin style of the Galaxy S3, you're not gonna like the added size and weight uh, by having this case on the phone. But on the flip side, uh, this isn't necessarily a case that's intended to be used full time. This is the kind of case you wanna use if you're gonna be away from a charger for an extended period of time, or you're gonna be traveling, or you just need extra power in case of an emergency, this is the perfect case for you. The thickness is not too bad. Um, six millimeters added to the size of the phone on an already extremely thin phone is not that big of a deal. Uh, there is a bit of an added weight though because there is a battery obviously built into this case. Um, things I do like, I do like the kickstand. Uh, it is spring loaded as you can see right there. This is made of metal, not plastic, so it's not going to break on you very easily. Uh, it keeps it at just the right angle so that your viewing angle on that is uh, perfect. It does only kickstand though in the landscape position. Um, uh, it's not, you can't really use it in the portrait position as you can see it wants to roll over on you. The cutout for the back with the camera and the LED is nice and wide. You're not going to get any reflections back into your camera lens from the LED. Um, it is black around the side so you're not going to get any reflection issues once again. Um, when it comes to removing the case, there is a slot down here on the bottom left corner. It's a gap. Uh, it's designed for you to be able to put a coin in and, and twist it. Um, if trying to take the case off with your fingers, it's doable and it's not too hard as you can see right there, but you got to stick your finger uh, nail in there and, and push pretty hard. Um, one thing I am not too happy about though when it comes to the design of this case is the fact that they went with this very polished um, piano finish. And as you can see by looking at that right there, just by handling it for this video, it's already very smudged. Uh, it's got, you know, skin oils on there. It's very... Uh, the shininess is nice, but if you're a clean freak, that really kind of bothers me. Um, I wish they would have went maybe with a rubberized material, maybe a, a matte, um, kind of this type of material. Uh, this is just like a, a raw ABS kind of plastic. It's not polished at all. On the back side, that would have been nice. And then on the back here, you have this nice um, beveled uh, tilt logo on the back. Lastly, I do wish they went with a little bit larger battery in this case, but I think part of it is they want to keep the size and the weight down, uh, which I completely agree with. The case itself is not very heavy at all. So there you have it guys, the Galaxy S3 Tilt Energy Battery Case for the Galaxy S3, adding five hours of, whoa, where did that come from? Adding five hours of talk time and keeping you charged on the go. Now, as mentioned right now, this is only shown as available for Galaxy S3 and in the future, the iPhone 5. And if you don't have either of those two phones, don't fret because next time I'm gonna be reviewing the Tilt Power Plant, which is a portable battery pack that has a micro USB charger as well as a USB slot, allowing you to charge any kind of smartphone or tablet that uses a USB port. So you wanna tune in for that. Remember guys, show Tilt some love. Go and follow their Twitter account. Go to their webpage, www.tilt.com. Tell them Jay's Two Cents sent you. And of course, as always, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, and go and check out some of my other videos, would you? 
they were a lot of work. It, you know, I'm tired. I make these videos at night, and and you know, I I, I just I want to make you guys happy. I want to make you happy, right? I mean, that's why I do all this stuff to make you happy. And this, you know, you're gonna want to go and watch this. All right, guys, I'm getting on out of here. Go and check out another video, and I will see you guys in my next video when I see you.